blockchain forever. My last video was literally writing Christmas movies. <laughs> and now we're here, it's August, and it's been so long since I've made a video. I think the honest and most important reason of why I haven't filmed anything is because I've been too much of a workaholic uh, in university and there was just no time for any hobbies or free time or to be creative outside of my studies. Um, so that is why I literally haven't picked up camera and I think that's so sad because YouTube used to be like one of my hobbies that I always used to make time for but I admit um, I did maybe burn out a little bit. I'm a bit more in a place where I don't really know what I want to do, <laughs> I guess, but also in a place where a lot is gonna change because um, I'm gonna have my exchange semester next, well, next semester, so in a month, um, and I'm going to Japan. <laughs> I feel like I've talked about this in videos before where I've, like, where I've been like, oh, I wish I could go, but it's actually happening. Like the world has opened up again and I'm I'm going to move to Japan for a semester and I'm gonna study at the Tokyo Geidai, which is like the biggest art school in Japan. <laughs> Insert anime clips. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it is a dream come true in a way. Um, and I still don't know how to feel about that. Right now I'm just feeling overwhelmed because the amount of paperwork one has to do to be able to get a visa or anything really in Japan is just, it's, it's like, I mean, I come from Germany and we're a country of paperwork, but I've never seen anything like Japan. Like, I feel like for each document, there's a document you should have filled out before you can even request that document. But it's also kind of like a circular motion where you require that document in the first place to be able to attain the other document. I don't know, it's just really confusing and I feel like my like whole day is spent just filling out documents. And it's so, it's so surreal because Everybody's like, you can't just fill out documents all day. Um, and I thought like, you could, you're like, you can't possibly fill out documents all day. But turns out you can fill out documents all day. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's all so much that I haven't really realized that I'm going to go on a plane in like a month and actually fly to Tokyo to live there. <laughs> spirit of continuing to explore my problems on the internet I also actually do have like the biggest imposter syndrome about going to Tokyo I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't like realized it yet because I don't believe it yet to me it's like a thing that okay I'm somehow well like filling out forms and looking for um, places to stay and stuff like such a far reach like I'm going to Geidai and I don't feel qualified in any way whatsoever I don't even know what I'm supposed to bring to a school like that but the thing is <laughs> Also with Japan, and that is maybe one of the negatives, is that it is really a country that's not very, well, at least right now after the corona pandemic, I feel like open to foreigners in a way where, for example, my school just basically sent me, well, we don't have any dorms available for people coming in from abroad, so you're on your own. Good luck with the housing market in Tokyo. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of hard. Like, good luck to me, I guess. And it's so hard to find something that is kind of like in the center, also near your university. And like, my lectures are in two different places. So it's really hard to find something where everything is kind of at reach, like one hour, like commute time is normal, I think, for Tokyo, but I don't want to commute one and a half hours just one way to the place. I also have to get back home in the evening and stuff. So that's kind of hard and not to mention, like, you, you can probably imagine, like, how expensive Tokyo is, especially as a foreigner coming in from abroad where you don't have access to all the housing markets of Japanese people. Yeah, it's just really, really hard and I don't know how other people are doing it. I don't know if you know anybody also going to Japan right now. Um, or if other like universities still have dorms open, but for me it's been really a struggle to find a room to stay 
that I can also pay. As the room is not the only expense because I have food to think about, I have transportation to think about, like, because as I said, like, I have to commute to my different place where the lectures are or the art studies are. Like, I have a lot of transportation inside of Tokyo that I need to pay for. Of course, the flight, the flight. <laughs> And my mom paid for the flight. Thank you, mom. <laughs> she sponsored me. I don't know. Um, and I'm not that talented to receive like a really good scholarship, I think. So uh, I'm kind of on my own here, which is why I'm going to be working or I have been working for the past two months um, trying to save some stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's always a struggle with a student, right? You're forever broke, but like try to be forever broke in Tokyo. I think that'll be a bit harder than being forever broke here in the middle of a small city in Germany. I mean, also you're thinking like, okay, what are you doing in Tokyo? Um, like at Geidai, um, I'm actually going into the intermediate art department, which is kind of a bit of a far shot from what I'm doing at my home university since I'm doing like visual communication but there I'm doing like more like into the free art kind of style which I'm very excited about actually because I think or I also feel like my last projects are going more and more into the way of free arts so I'm really excited to explore more of that and explore more free creativity again because the last few semesters creativity for me was just a chore and not something I enjoy doing or that comes naturally. It's like, I have to be creative, so I am creative, and I'm not creative because something comes to me or I can explore an idea in a certain way. So yeah, if you're excited into art studies, I guess a lot of that is coming as well. <laughs> Hi guys, um, maybe just quickly as like a postpartum, <laughs> or not a postpartum, but um, it's the next day right now. I feel like I didn't end the video on such a right ending kind of note and I've been editing it and I feel like there is like no energy or any intention there and I'm kind of sorry. I feel like I don't know yet what I want to do with this channel. I feel like I have to get into the swing of things. So that's why I'm also posting this video anyway, even though I don't feel totally like confident about it. I feel like I look like shit, like I talk just stupid stuff. There's nothing really being said there other than, hey, I'm alive, I guess. But yeah, I guess that is the concept of vlogs, right? Because my, my days right now are just very monotonous, um, filling up paperwork, working and uh, having a bit of, I don't know, village life before the big city of Tokyo. I just, I want to say I appreciate each and every single one of you and I'm also working on like scripted videos again. So uh, be excited for that. Um, I've been working for like ha like over a year at two scripted videos, which I really have to do one day. Um, one is really in the works. I just have to get my ass off and put some makeup on because <laughs> I should maybe look a little bit more presentable if I'm doing something that I've been working on for such a long time. I'm gonna try my best to study some Japanese so that I'm not a total blurb over there um, and that I can find my way around and show you great things. I'm just excited for this new chapter, even though I feel more lost and more like, what the fuck, where, what am I doing, who am I than ever. Um, yeah, maybe it's like, quarter life crisis coming up or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway yeah again thank you i know i'm rambling um and see you in the next video i can say that because i know there is a next video coming and there are videos coming again so see you in the next video bye <laughs> no I'm, i had an outro i was always saying uh have a good morning have a good night wherever you are and bye and back on my channel <laughs>